Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something that was a trend a little while ago, but I'm bringing it back. It's doing my makeup with little kids makeup. Before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I never really let you guys in on a little secret that I should have told you guys a long time ago. A lot of people were wondering my skincare routine, so I dropped two videos on that, but I never really explained my deep skincare routine for when I do makeup videos such as these. As you guys know, I put on a lot of products in my video and I want to always be cautious on what I'm putting on my face and how I'm putting it on just because I have very, very sensitive skin so when I'm doing my grand looks or when I know that I'm going to be doing a grand look, I always prep my face beforehand and not just with my basic rose water or a primer. I always want to clean my face thoroughly, make sure there's no makeup from the other day, no residue, no dirt, no sleep, no coal, no food, anything on my face before I put on other things on my face. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit in the beginning of this video just how I prep my face for big makeup challenges such as these. But I want to show you guys something new that I've been using a lot of lately. I actually used to dabble into my sisters and she would get mad because I didn't have my own so I finally got my own. I have been using the Duval Radiant Spin Care System brush and if you haven't seen this before where have you been there are different types but this is the one i use just because it has so many brush head options but i just want to tell you guys about the duval brush care system because big girl look at my skin so the duval skincare system comes with two interchangeable face brush heads the first one is the gentle face cleansing brush which you can use to remove dead skin cells from unclogged pores and just really get deep into your skin for a radiant looking look. Then you have the face exfoliating brush which deeply cleans and exfoliates and also minimizes your pores and makes your skin absorb the skincare treatments. Then you got a large body cleansing and exfoliating brush. It removes dense skin cells from your kneecaps, elbows. Then it comes with a pumice stone attachment, which is a tool that you can use to soften your skin, such as your feet, elbows, heels, as well as removing calluses and dry skin. Also, the brush is water resistant, which means that you can use it in your shower. And you don't have to plug it in and worry about wet wires because it, all you have to do is put in four AA batteries and you are good to go. Personally, my favorite brush is the exfoliating brush. This is the small one right here because this is the one that I use mostly on my face. Like every day I use this one or I don't usually use these every day, but whenever I'm doing a deep look, I always use this brush in particular just because it really gets into the nitty gritty spots and the brush heads is so, so soft yet it still gets into what it needs to get. If you would like your own set of skincare brushes, all you have to do is go over to Duval's website and add it to your cart and check out using my promo code Sierra70OFF for 70% off your purchase. And without further ado, let's get into the makeup look. <laughs> So you guys see me prep my skin on the camera all the time with my foundation and so on. So I'm going to be applying my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows off camera and then I will come back on camera to show you guys the palette. Hey guys, so I'm back with my base makeup and basically this is just foundation, concealer, eyebrows, and I bronzed a bit. And now we're going to see what we got. So I was excited yesterday and I literally opened it yesterday. I wish I could explain myself, but I won't. This is my laptop makeup kit. Um, makeup set, I'm sorry, I can't read. When you open it up, we've got our eyeshadows and our lip glosses. I'm guessing that's what this is. Oh my God, it smells like McDonald's plastic. Okay, and then there's some sides here more that we're working with so i don't really have an inspiration of what i'm going for and i haven't really watched anybody's videos where they did this in such a long time like i told you guys this is an old trend so i'm just gonna go with it they have a mirror here so i'm gonna use this i really don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna go for it so they gave me these little applicators here i'm just gonna pull it off i'm gonna tap into this blue here and try to go in with my outer v 
Wait a minute. Oh, why is that good? Okay, first of all, you need to calm down. That is one dot, boo. That doesn't justify, like, it, it's a dot, boo. It's a dot. I'm just gonna keep rubbing this on. Okay, I'm working with it. Now let's do the other side. Okay guys, so this is what I got so far and it's really, really good. I have to honestly say that I'm shocked that it's good because I did not think this was gonna go how it is going. I'm gonna keep going. So now I'm going to try to blend this some more and I'm gonna blend it maybe into this, this darker green here and just, oh, look at that. Okay, so now we're working with this, which I think is pretty good. I'm just trying to like fill it in, make it look like it's really present. Um, but uh, let's talk about this blend. It literally blended so well. Um, now we're going to do the other eye. Okay, now we're going to try to blend this into my brows somehow. So I think I'm going to go in with this lighter green. Nah, I think I'm going to go in with this like peachy color to try to blend it into my brow so it's not just like a harsh line I guess okay so I think I got it pretty blended this is as blended as it's probably gonna get because we are working with some kid makeup okay and now for my um under eye I guess I can go in with this with this purplish color out here it doesn't really show up on me I don't think you guys can see that okay I'm gonna try to like mix it with this pink one too see if it shows up Okay, it's there. Okay, now it is time for, oh, it's a mine. It's a mine, it's a mine, it's a mine. Now it's time for the lips. So I'm gonna go in with one of these. I think since I got this blue lip going on, I'm gonna go in with the blue lips. And they gave me these little, oh my gosh, maybe this I should have used for the eyeshadow. It's like a little brushy. Oh, now we're gonna use it for the lips because, oh, I didn't think it was gonna be soft like that. I just took it all. Not lipstick, it's gloss. Now I kind of want blue lips, so I'm going to try to put some like blue eyeshadow in this too and make it better. Right, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. And now it's mixed with my lip pigments and it's turned purple. So I'm going to go pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So I popped on the lashes and this is the completed look. Here's a little montage. Don't mind that glue. It's still drying because I literally just put them on, but here's a little montage. <music> That is the look. If I were to rate this look, honestly, like being honest, I would say about a seven. Maybe that's too much. Let me tell you why. The blending of the eyeshadow into the next color is superb, but I wasn't really able to, like I didn't really have a color to blend it to my brow, so it's kind of just like there. I kind of made my own invention and it works a bit, but I don't know how I feel about it on me personally with this look. The pink under the eye, you can kind of see it. I can see it here, but the camera probably isn't picking it up. But honestly, for some kids makeup from Amazon, it is not that bad. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, become a king or queen. Also, I want to thank you guys for 15K. I don't remember if I thanked you guys, but it's a really big accomplishment. I'm so, so thankful that you guys care and you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already what are you doing follow my instagram at crx andrea it's summertime so i've been posting a lot on there also follow my makeup instagram at c makeup where i'll probably have a shortened version of this look little preview for you guys on there also follow my tiktok on the road to 200k grand old stop period poo today's post notification shout out goes to leah vlogs thank you leah for having my post notifications on and if you want a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe to my channel hit that bell and comment done or first or whatever you want down below on this video i love you guys so much thank you for supporting me and thank you for the love seriously 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 never unappreciated i love you guys so much i will see you guys in my next video bye